Hello Lilas, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to do a couple things here. I'm going to do a kit review and I'm also going to get Milani changed and just kind of talk about a couple things. <laughs> when I do make videos, I guess they've become where they're pretty long. Um, but anyway, so real quick, make sure you subscribe to this channel. Double check. Make sure you click the bell to be a part of the notification squad. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up and always leave me a comment if you can, even if it's just a heart emoji. Um, I just like to see who's actually watching my videos. Um, I understand that some people cannot, don't have the time to leave a comment and I, I get it. Um, make sure you tell your friends, your doll friends about my channel so that they can follow along as well. So I, this is Cody, Cody Bear by Laura Tuzer Ross. Um, the sculpt was sculpted as a portrait baby of the real Cody Bear, um, which is Julie's one, um, one's reborn um, grandson. Um, but I made mine a girl. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and do the kit review first and then I'm gonna get her changed. So I am excited to say that the Aspens arrived and basically this is what they look like blank. Um, I wasn't even thinking maybe I should have put the painted version of them but we'll just stick with the with the sculpt um trying to look inside the mouth so I don't know if you guys can see, see if I take some of the light off you guys can see inside the mouth there's a gums and something to look somewhat like a uvula inside the lips are very you know detailed full lips this is the side profile of nice, nice shape head. I really like the shape, the the head shape on this one. Um, so this is this is Aspen. So and this is the hands. So full arms, um, decent nail beds. Um, the nails do not like hang over the, the edge of the fingertip, but they're nice enough to where you can paint them nicely. And both open hand and all separate fingers, which is nice. Like I said, they're full arms. My favorite part of the sculpt, of course, is the legs. <laughs> I absolutely love the legs on this sculpt. Um, it's just like the 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 sh the shape of the leg is just like it's so newborn when it's painted. I love it. Um, again, full legs. Um, the big toe is separate here, and then it's separate right here. Um, but the other ones are together. And this one, the big toe is separate, and then the just the pinky is separate. But both big toes are separate, so therefore you can easily put them on little sandals in the summer if you make it a girl or boy I guess boys wear sandals too so I really like that and it does come with a tummy plate um and so cute little belly button just basic little half tummy plate non-gender so you can choose boy or girl and this is the cloth body so Nothing spectacular about the body, just basic body. Um, but yeah, it's a beautiful kit. Um, I will get to this one on my table to paint. Um, hopefully, I'll be able to paint one before Christmas. <laughs> but not quite sure yet. Um, I have a few things in order. Um, it did come with COA. 
and yep and um, basically tells what it is it says um, includes head full arms full legs half tummy plate cloth body head circumference 13 and a half height is 18 inches bent and it's an unlimited edition so yep so pretty pretty cool I really, really like that. Um, I think it's I think it's a a nice a nice COA. Um, I just file those away. I don't really. It's not a big deal about them. I don't really care about it as much as other people do. To be honest, only time I care about it is. You know, if it's a sold out edition or something like that, it's the the value of it or whatever changes the value. Um, <sighs> I'm sorry, my energy level seems a little low, right? I'm tired, but um, so this old girl, I'm gonna keep her on the same kind of like the same look, but I just wanted to put her on the other onesie. Since I took it off of, um, I'll zoom in a little bit so you guys can see a little bit more. Um, since I took it off of the other baby, I just thought I would put this one on her because I wanted the one with the snaps on her. Um, this, this particular sculpt, so one thing about me, I don't tend to normally be like in love with really fat babies um as far as kids goes but i actually fell for this one which is odd but i love i love the smile on this one i love this this one and um i i keep saying that i may possibly sell her once she gets here but i don't know if that's gonna be the case at this point because i really really love her and like I don't know, like in person, if you see like inside her mouth, I love the way her gums look, the, the coloring came out on her gums. And when I say like, I love the way something comes out, people sometimes be like, as if you didn't intentionally do it. But sometimes I just don't know how these babies are gonna turn out. Like, I don't even know how I paint, to be honest, because, you know, ask me, do I know the color wheel or any of that? I don't. I don't know any of that. Um, I just paint with my heart. That's the truth. I know that sounds all <laughs> weak and stuff, but <laughs> it's the truth. I, which is why, like, I can't paint kids that I don't like, or you know, like if I don't like the kid, or um, only rare c cases where I just absolutely cannot uh stomach the person behind the doll i can't i can't work on it or it don't come out as nice um but if i love the kit and i love the scope i tend to do pretty good at it and i don't even know how that works exactly but I don't know, but that's why I always say the sculpting matters the most. See, she's a baldy. Complete baldy. I can't wait till she gets some hair though. I I really hate that I don't root my own baby my own vinyl baby sometimes because man, I see people they, they paint their dolls and they get them all rooted all fast. And I'm like, dang, why can't you know, I move so fast, but I'm at the mercy of other people until I start rooting my own vinyl. Um, hopefully one day I'll be able to do everything I need to do on my own so I don't have to depend on people. But I've been blessed so far to have a really good rooter to go to. And it's been working out for me, so I really shouldn't complain. Um... 
Hopefully Lulu will be coming back soon and you guys will finally get to meet her. I've been talking about her, but haven't shared her. Hopefully you guys like her. It's so funny because I she's like going to be three, the third uh, wheel. You guys have met two of the Mealies by uh, Ping Lao. And now I'm going to have three. So it's kind of, it's going to be funny. Um, you guys may or may not like her, but I, I love her. And I'll see how I feel when she gets here. Um, I plan for her to be a personal baby. If I tend to not um, feel the same way once she gets here and all put together, then I'll put her up for sale. But, um, and sometimes it doesn't have anything to do with other than the fact that, I don't know, I just sometimes once they get here, I don't, I don't connect as much. Which is kind of weird. It's like, I guess because I, I spend so much time falling in love with them ball, then when they get here, it's like they're a new person and it's it's kind of weird. I don't know. Um, and the hair can be absolutely gorgeous. And it usually is because my rooter does a fabulous job. But sometimes that just happens that way. Um, real quick, and I'm not going to spend too much time on this. But I have noticed that also another thing about me that has changed here recently is that I haven't been really chasing silicone babies as much. Um, I have so many reborns and I it feels really good and it's kind of weird. I was thinking about that this morning. I'm like, it's kind of weird that I'm not like going crazy over silicone right now. And maybe it's because I don't have many in my collection right now. Um, and I don't see any sculpts out there that I'm like absolutely in love with right now. So, um, maybe that's the case. I do want one, at least one really, really nice one blank kit for me to paint myself. Um, hopefully before the year out, maybe it'll be next year. I don't know. But right now, as of now, um, I don't, I've just been so in love with the Reborns and that's kind of like a flip. For me, um, I love her eyebrows too. <laughs> it's kind of weird. Um, I'm not the best at eyebrows, but I actually really like her eyebrows. Um, but it's kind of like a flip for me because at one point I was all into just my silicone babies. But I love silicone. But it's just that I guess I kind of forgot the magic of the reborns, being able to have all the different faces and styles. And I'll be honest, I since I've not really had as many silicone lately, I've just really like enjoyed being able to be a lot more carefree with the reborns. And I used to be one to say like, oh, it's no different. I trust my silicone more than I do my reborns. And I... I do, and I. it just depends on who painted which one, you know what I mean? Because even with some of my Reborns, I don't want to dress them or interact with them as much because I don't know if they can stand it like others. Now, the ones that I paint, definitely I feel more confident in it because I know how I texture them, I know how I paint them. So I know that their paint is pretty, pretty secure. Um, oh, real quick, maybe I'll show you guys what um, little fat mama wearing. I don't know if I showed it. Showed y'all what she's wearing. She got changed out. I love <laughs> Zora. Zora is like the new, the new it baby. Oh. She really gets on my nerves sometimes. The way she be like rolling her little eyes at me. I don't think she means it, but she does it. <laughs> but yeah, so. <laughs> Look at her little fat self. But yeah, so I, I don't know. Like, I would love to hear from some other people. Like, I know a lot of people are really, really still going very strong about wanting a silicone baby, and they are definitely um, so much fun to have. And I'll be honest, I love them. I love them a lot when I do have one that that I really love. Um, I love the feel of a silicone baby. It's, it's definitely a different feel. It's definitely unmatched. <laughs> but um, lately, I just haven't. I've just been more into my reborns, it's, which is 
it's nice, but it's, it feels kind of weird when I think about it. I'm like, dang, you know? So, yeah. So, um, whew, I don't know. Um, I wish I could do a show you guys like all my 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 whole collection at one time but i don't know how i would photograph that or get that in video uh, maybe i'll give it a try um or what just like lay them all on the bed or something one day and show you guys like all my reborns i don't i think i have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen I have 13, I have 13 Reborns. I had a lot more actually, so I've sold quite a bit of them actually. I have another one going out again today, so yeah. So, and um, for anybody that's waiting on me to paint a Benjamin, it's not gonna happen, I sold all my kits. Just FYI, I absolutely am not into that kit. I do not, I do not want to paint it, um, so. That's that. Um, yeah. So that is that. Thanks guys for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next video.